Hey there! How's the beta reading coming along? Well, to be honest with you, I have some questions. Makes sense. I was kind of trying to, you know, be unconventional in my writing. I wanted to uh, redefine what makes a book, you know, a, a deconstruction of the craft. No, I, I haven't gotten to the writing part yet. It's just, um, talking about the cover. Who designed it? Well, if you must know, um, I hate to toot my own horn, but that was also a personal effort. I took up some graphic design, I made a few concept sketches, I translated it from paper to screen. It's terrible. Huh? I mean, look at it. Did you make this in MS Paint? Hey, how'd you know? I... And these stock images, do you even know what a lasso tool is? And even if you did, you can't just straight copy and paste things onto a cover. But that's exactly what I did. But, but look at this. What is this? That is my OC. His name is Jeffro Warminster. He's a former U.S. Army general called out of retirement to deal with a terrorist organization's temporal bioweapons. So here's my first question. Based on this cover alone, what makes you think I want to continue reading? Uh, remember what I said about it being a deconstruction? The design is deliberately unorthodox. It suggests a sense of displacement for the reader, a sort of visual metaphor for the narrative. It's cheap. Tacky. Unprofessional. Well, I have limited resources. You know, writing's free, but commissioning cover art's expensive. I disagree. Writing isn't free. The resources you expend with writing are time, energy, and effort. It may not be a monetary investment, but it is an investment nonetheless, and a costly one at that. If you're going to put a book out there, you better be prepared to invest in everything about it, especially the things you can't do yourself. Well... Well what? You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Oh, shut the fuck up. So before we get to the fun stuff, I think there's one more thing about book covers that bears mentioning. When you're in control of every aspect of your book, including the cover art, know you're not just trying to sell your book, you're trying to sell a reader on your book. There are several barriers that you as a writer slash publisher have to breach in order to make a sale, and the very first one is the cover. If your cover sucks, the only attention you're going to get is ironic attention. Compared to other media, books are a very time-consuming investment for the reader, so when they take the time to sit down with your book and absorb themselves with the experience you're offering, they have to feel really good about it, and that starts with the cover. Judging a book by its cover is exactly what readers do, and they are 100% in the right. They need to feel like the book, and by extension the author, is respecting their interest and their attention, and if your cover is half-assed or poorly composited, they're going to feel cheated before they even turn a page. So, with all that said, does that give me the right to make an entire video pointing and laughing at bad cover art? Yes. Yes, it does. And what better place to look at terrible book covers than, um, terrible book covers? <laughs> it's a Friday night, and I'm sitting at my computer looking at terrible cover art. Truly, I lead a wild life. Let's see what our first one is. This one actually has a not safe for work blur on it, so what is it? Okay, so already we're off to kind of a weird start. This doesn't even qualify as cover art, it's just letters. So the title says, A gift my grandmother gave me shortly after I married my husband. When was this published? Like the 50s? Hold on, there's a, there's a, there's a second page. Oh! <laughs> Who is that? I believe in marriage. I also believe in faithfulness in marriage. I believe God gave us our sex organs to bond us together in pleasure within our marriage and through this incredible pleasure to keep us faithful to each other. As most women are faking orgasms and are deeply dissatisfied sexually with their husbands and the right to... Okay, this okay, this just turned into a whole other video entirely. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think we need to, to, to abort this one right now. What's our next terrible book cover? We got another not safe for work tag here. Let's see what this one is. Dark desires taken by the Obamacare sex robot. <laughs> Change is coming. <laughs> 
Holy crap. When they did the act, the care was a f <laughs> Clearly this one was meant to be ironic, and there's honestly nothing wrong with that. I, I, I love, I love, um, a good ironic thing, but, um, I, I gotta say I really like how, like, the Terminator's eye is one of Mr. Obama's nipples. That is a, um, that is a winning detail right there. Is this a series? A, the dishes are done, man, exclamation point, book. So is this part of a series? I gotta look this up. This is so absurd. She has other stuff, like, such as this one. I don't care if my best friend's mom is a Sasquatch. She's hot and I'm taking a sh <laughs> Okay, this video is awful. This video is awful already. Uh, let's let's move on. <laughs> okay, here's our first terrible book cover. Uh, Dave Patterson, what are you doing? I'll give him credit. Like I could never make a drawing this good with with oil pastels, no less. I assume that's oil pastels. But why would you draw a oil pastel character and then Photoshop him in front of the Grand Canyon with a fuchsia sky. Why not just make the whole thing an oil pastel drawing? Like, at least that'd be, like, consistent. Maybe I could be impressed by your abilities, but don't just Photoshop your OC onto a background that already exists. Clearly you have talent, but why aren't you using it? Why would I buy The Godstone by Dave Patterson if this is, if, if, if this is the experience that it's promising me? Oh boy, another blur. Let's see what this one is. What the fuck? This is the Lost Thing sequel. Like this is like this is like pre-transformation. Like like when when the when the thing starts like doing that weird like body thing to let you know that something's wrong right before it transforms into like a tentacle beast. Like th that's what this is right here. What a, what am I looking at? Is that a blowtorch? Fondle with care. It's a blowtorch, and an artist is blowtorching a impressionist like abstract metal sculpture and there's a lady posing for him when love a coals get loose babes all right here's our next one welcome to i can't say that i cannot say this title move over bible quran necronomicon like clearly like this is the most powerful book of all time because like 70 something percent of the united states population can't say the title Okay, I gotta look this up, because I don't know if this is trying to be, like, funny or not. Um, welcome to... It's described as a modern-day, no-nonsense... No-nonsense, yeah, okay. Cross between Tupac and Malcolm X comes to save an all-black city from an ongoing cycle of poverty, crime rate, and broken relations... <laughs> and broken relationships. But honestly, let's look at this cover. Like, I can't tell where these are from. These are clearly from, like other things. The lighting's off, you know, the edges are kind of obvious. These ropes, were these ropes added in post? I can't tell. That guy's holding a gun, but this gun is just apparently there, aiming straight at me, as if it's saying, like, I I'm gonna shoot you with this book, so you might as well read it with the third eye I just put in your forehead. Vincent Morris, um, I commend the thought, but can you not have a cover that looks so, like, silly next time? Get the become rich and God me get oh the oh the get rich and become God method by drill yeah you, you know drill the, the the famous author you know I've read all of his books and what the hell do we have here I can't even describe this this looks like one of those like my dreams memes like you know like you know oh my God I dreamed I married my crush my dreams. I assume by the title that this is like a self-help, like advice, like financial advice book, but I'm getting more like Cthulhu's accountant from this. Hold on, I, I, got, I gotta take a closer look at this. There's a blood bag labeled child, a video game controller, a chain ball that says Burger King, <laughs> the book of truth, insert social commentary here, some dude, and apparently a advertisement for a nightclub that just says suffer. You know, I admire the creativity, but I'm just disturbed by this, and I would not want to pick this up. You can't study for survival. School's out. Forever. Oh shit, that- is that- that- James Patterson? That's a James Patterson cover? Who the hell is that? What I thought, what I thought, I thought this was like a self-published novel by some edgy teen, and I thought that was the author. This looks like a alternate cover for Stephen King's Rage. That's what this reminds me of. Well, this cover from the UK edition looks good. Looks looks better at least. 
why'd they settle with this crap? Oh, here we go, the unofficial mob guide. <laughs> you couldn't have picked a different font for the subtitle. Couldn't even capitalize the U and the G. Why is it $33? Over 13,000 reads, four, four people's favorite. 60 likes. Ugh. Oh, this is a winner right here. This is what this is what it's all about. The Godchild, the Shahar Chronicles 3, and of course you chose Comic Sans. This is clearly another another instance of of someone's OC being designed in like some other software and then just plunked into another background. Who's that? From a distance I thought that was General Grievous. But no, it's just um It's just um Can't think of a clever name right now. Running Viking Man. I'm going with that one. That's Running Viking Man. And of course you got your obligatory pile of skulls in the foreground. That's how you know this is gonna be a dark, edgy fantasy with a lot of death and violence. Another not safe for work tag. I can't show this. There's a reason it's only a buck ninety-five. This is literally just a photo that I can't really show to you. I'll try and describe it. There's a woman clad in nothing but a pair of black panties, and she looks like she's about to grab a skeleton's boner. Ha ha. Even though she's missing the mark by about a good, like, ten inches or so. Satan, Demons, and Dildos, it's called. I is this, like, supposed to be a novel, or is this supposed to be, like, a- like a study? Okay, this one's a mouthful. First, Zoe fooled around with Lucas and Jake. Fa- wait, hold on. What? First? Oh, oh, oh. First, Zoe fooled around with Lucas, comma, and Jake found out. Then, Claire wanted Jake, so she broke up with Ben, <laughs> but ended up alone. Now, Nina is in love with Ben, and Claire wants Ben back. Will Claire try to steal her boyfriend back from her own sister? What the fuck? <laughs> What's this title? Ben's in love with two girls who just happened to be s <sighs> Someone was projecting a lot. Catherine Applegate. Did you take this photo, Miss Applegate? Who is that? Did this guy know that he was gonna end up on this cover? Why does it say making out on the side? Is making out the publisher or is Bliss the publisher? Okay, clearly this isn't targeted at me, but still, I, I can't understand why even the target demographic would even like give it a second glance. This is just like every like teen romance bullshit like condensed into one image and I hate it. Next, Bonnie Bonina? <laughs> I can't. I can't with these covers, hold on. So you've got a knight on a horse, the perspective and the depth of field is way off, and then you've got dogs. Dogs. One of them's wearing a bow tie and shopping cart for buying your three boxes of fuck you. You couldn't even fix the poor dog's ear, the background is swallowing part of his head. Next. Who commissioned this? What is this? Kidnapped and Catriona by Robert L. Stevenson? Why would I want to read a book that has this in it? I'm speechless, I don't know what to say. I can't even look at it, like fuck this, fuck this. Oh, here we go, back to normalcy. Dr. October, master of scientific sorcery in Rogues and Ruins. So yet we have another instance of an of an OC that's just been pasted onto a background. Yeah, um, you didn't really use up space that well. But the character's even actually protruding past the left side of the cover. That, that black and white background is not really doing it for me. Like you have this colorful, like, gangsta scientist looking guy, but then you have like, I don't know, 15th century like wood art, I guess? Ah, I was wondering when I see my first minimalist piece. The Guardian of the Sword. That looks like a freaking car logo. What does that tell me about the book? I mean, I can make a whole other like video about like minimalist cover art, but I don't want to and I'm not going to, so. Skip. Holy crap, I think I saw my nightmares for the next three days. What is that? Is that- I need, I need to like examine this on like a culinary level. Hold on. Alright, so that is bread. I assume that's jelly. Very perfectly spread jelly. Not even my own mother could do that with a peanut butter jelly sandwich. 
Is that cheese or hash browns? You got PIs, IPs, you know, you know, like like the like the things China is stealing. A mushroom for a nose, that's kind of clever. And is that a pea or a lime peel or is any of this food even real? Why is there a cat? This looks like some like lost photo from like, the 1970s. Like you found like an old camera in the basement from a child who died in like 1975. And like this was like one of the, this was like the last photo that they took before, you know, their body was found stuffed in the crawl space. And you have to wonder like, you know, did this thing come alive and kill him? Okay, one more book cover. I really can't do this for much longer. Okay, I think we're done. Hey there. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I do plan on making more horror and literature related videos like this in the future. So if you like what you saw, uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, uh, support an up and coming creator like myself. My acknowledgements this time go to the Terrible Book Cover subreddit and also to YouTuber Harrison MacArthur for supplying that burning background uh, graphic. So thank you for everyone who contributed. I couldn't have made this video without you. And now for some shameless plugs. Check this out. This is my novel, Hell's Gulf. It's available for pre-order now and it drops August 6th. So get a copy if you're interested. And I think we can all agree, this is not terrible cover art.